Hey y'all, it's Shy One Persephone coming at you with another book from hashtag my year of reading women. This one is my fifth of this year and it is Difficult Women by Roxane Gay. Um, if you're not familiar with Roxane Gay, you should be. She wrote a really, um, well, her most well-known book came out a couple of years ago. It's called Bad Feminist. It's a collection of essays. It is wonderful. I highly recommend it. This one is short fiction. Um, and at first I was a little worried that she wouldn't be as good with fiction as she is with the nonfiction, but my worries were unfounded. These stories are great. Um, Roxanne is an American author of Haitian descent. I think both of her parents are um, immigrants from Haiti. I could be wrong about that, so don't quote me. There's a picture of her there. I actually really hate that picture. I think there are so many other good pictures of her that she could have chosen for the slipcover, but um, whatever. That's just my opinion. She obviously likes that picture. Um, but what I really like about this collection of stories is that she really represented every woman. Um, black women, white women, queer women, straight women, urban women, redneck women, trailer trash. Like, there's a, a particular story in there about like a, like, a, like a rural redneck woman that I never would have read if it wasn't involved in this collection because I just don't read stories about those type of women. Um, so I really appreciate that book because it sort of gives you glimpses into women's lives who you normally wouldn't connect with. Um, it also, I don't want, it, it deals with some heavy subject matter. Um, and I don't want to say it's things that every woman experiences, but it's things that every woman fears experiencing. Things like infant loss and rape and kidnapping and domestic abuse. Um, but there's also a really beautiful love story in here. Um, so it really, it's a really diverse book, um, really diverse stories. You never get the same thing twice. Um, there's even some sci-fi and fantasy in here. Most of the stories are more based in reality, um, but there's one story in particular about a woman who like it rains everywhere she goes and there's just everything gets moldy and decaying and um it, it's a really gorgeous story and then the the love story I was talking about just now um is actually a sci-fi story which was actually probably my favorite story in the book um I tend to gravitate more towards sci-fi fantasy than I do the more realistic stories but um what is that story called oh gosh let me look. Um, something about darkness. Yeah, The Sacrifice of Darkness. It's one of the last stories in the book, but um, that for me was the strongest. Um, this book came out sort of recently. Uh, 2017, I believe. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, 2017. This is a first edition hardcover that I got on sale at Barnes & Noble in their clearance section. If you're lucky, it might still be there. Um, I went the other day to buy a couple more copies to leave as a uh, book fairy, um, and I only was able to find one more. Because um, there's a there's a girl at work who, I had this with me at work, and she saw it, and she was like, oh, I want to read that book. I really want to get it. So I was going to buy her a copy, and then I ended up not being able to find one for her. Um, but if you're lucky, your Barnes and Noble in your area might still have it. Um, it is out in paperback. Of course, it came out almost three years ago now. So, um, obviously it's out in paperback now. Um, paperback cover is the same as this one. It's got this really gorgeous sort of shattered glass heart and this really pretty pink color. The book itself is also this super fun bubblegum pink color that I love. Um... I think this this collection should be read by, I was going to say every woman, but really everybody. Um, I think men could definitely benefit from reading women's stories, and I think that that's something they don't do enough. Um, at least the men I know don't, don't um, 
don't tend to read female authors or female stories or books that they feel like are more targeted towards women. Um, and I think that's a shame because these are actually, these are really good, well-written stories. Um, but if you haven't read Bad Feminist, definitely pick that up. If you haven't read this, definitely check your Barnes and Noble to see if it's still in the sale section because it is super duper. Um, and I will definitely be looking for more from Roxanne Gay because I do, I really, um, I really appreciate her writing. Um, I think she's a really great voice in literature right now. And I think she's a really important voice in literature right now. Um, so keep a lookout for more stuff from her. Um, as always, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in this project. Um, on Instagram, you can either follow at shy one Persephone, or you can just follow hashtag my year of reading women. And I will be back later with more books to talk about. Bye.